Greetings and welcome. I'm the Warrior Wraith, and this is how to beat Marie with every character. Before the video starts, if you just came to see tips for one character in particular, you'll find the timestamps for each character in the description below. Also, this video took me a while to make, so if you find it useful, it would mean a lot to me if you subscribe. Now, on to the video. Firstly, we'll be taking a look at Hasduck. i probably not saying his name right, but I'm gonna go along with it. If I wasn't showing proof on screen, you probably wouldn't believe me, but from what I've tested, this one move can defeat Marie consistently. That move would be simply going down to the right, and then when in range, using your upright attack. I call it that because that's what it looks like on the uh, move list when you pause the game. It's the move to the top right. I don't know why or how this works and gets over time, but for me it does. Of course, do keep in mind, you can never depend on one single move to carry you to victory every time. So, use this move in combination with proper fighting tactics to achieve victory, and that goes for pretty much all moves in this entire video as well. Now, when it comes to Barabaz, things get a little more complicated, but fear not, I've found one move that you can usually rely on. This move is called Trickster, and it's performed by dashing up twice in rapid succession, and then performing an up-left attack. This move has the perfect mix of sidestepping and one slash attack that usually catches the AI off guard. Now do keep in mind, for this to work, you must perform it at a correct timing. This timing being as soon as or just after Marie throws out a thrust or a slash. It can't be too early or, or you're going to get a, a blade through the chest pretty much. It can't be too late or she's going to be able to go in for a counter attack and you'll most likely die. Now, I've also found the move is quite effective when Marie's getting aggressive, overly aggressive that is, and walking into your range of attack without attacking first. You can usually catch her off guard, but I wouldn't really use that reliably. I would just wait until she attacks and just after use this. Another move I can recommend for him though, if that's not working for you, is the attack belly to legs which is performed by moving forwards whilst pressing your down right attack and then immediately your down left. So forward, down right, down left. Although don't depend on this move, it's not nearly as effective as the previously mentioned. For just a sec, I found that it's actually very simple, similar to Hajduk's. It's rather silly, but again, all you have to do is move down to the right, and then when in range, use your upright attack. As I said with Hezuk, you don't really need to depend, or want to depend, rather, on this move. Still use your common sense. If it looks as though Marie is going to go for a thrust or a slash that will connect if you advance towards her, don't advance. Basically, just use your head and don't spam this one, because it works most of the time, but it's not going to work 100% of the time. Now, it took me quite some time to figure out a move that consistently works for Gadeon due to his lack of an effective thrusting attack to keep Marie at bay, and how absolutely dreadfully slow most of his attacks are. But don't lose hope, because I have found one move that beats Marie almost every time amazingly. This move is simply moving up and to the right at the same time, and when in range, which that's going to take a bit of practice to tell when you're in range or when you're not, slashing. Just do a slash attack using your up left attack, while moving up and to the right. I was pretty astonished how effective it was when I first figured it out because it's even more effective than Hajduk's and Jasex. I played two matches of six games and never lost a single round against Marie using this tactic. I must warn you though, if in your attack you end up too close to Marie and you haven't land a finishing blow, only wounded her or missed entirely, she's probably going to attempt to grapple and if you're not prepared for that, that's insta death obviously. So make sure to keep a safe distance away from her if you're not ready to counter or grapple. Now on to Isabel. Unfortunately, either due to my lack of knowledge of the character, because I don't really play her that often, or because there just isn't one that I'm aware of yet. I haven't really been able to find one or two moves that can consistently beat Marie. That being said, I can offer some advice for newer players when playing as or against Marie. You have superior range, remember that. You have all the power in the world to determine how close you want Marie to get to you. If Marie's getting too close, and you anticipate she's going to perform a thrust attack, sidestep and perform your own thruster slash, and it'll either usually force a retreat, or you'll actually strike her with a successful blow and end the round. That being said, Marie is still the king of thrusts, and you could also end, end up with a stab to the chest, unfortunately. Something else important to note is high guard. 
just high guard in general. Which you can enter by going to the right, then up. When in long guard, whilst holding space the whole time, and holding space afterwards, as long as you want to be in high guard. It's a huge deterrent for the AI. I don't know why, that's just how it is right now. That's very subject to change, I'm assuming. Huge deterrent for the enemy. They'll see you as a way bigger threat than you were before, and will often disengage and step back. So, use that in the fight how you wish. If you need to get some distance, or want to scare the enemy back against a wall, high guard's your way to go with Isabel. And remember that you control the distance between you and the enemy. Sorry if you were expecting anything super mind-blowing here, but when fighting a clone of your own character, no matter which character, there really aren't any magical tricks or tactics or moves you can use against the enemy because you yourself are playing as the enemy. You're on a complete even playing field. There's not much you can do to get an edge. You pretty much just have to revert to the core mechanics of the game. Which is counterattacking, timing your attacks, using dashes, sidesteps, different variations in your combos. Something I can give some offer of some advice though is especially focus on counterattacking. Marie's counterattacks are effectively brutal, even against herself in combat. And that is every character in the game so far. And as they add new characters to the game, I may edit this video to further improve it if you guys want. Also keep in mind that as this is an early access game, everything in the game is subject to change, meaning some of the stuff in this video may not work in future updates. And I will also, if you guys want, go back and edit the video to accommodate for those extra changes and new updates. If you made it to the end, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I thank you so much. And until next time, see ya!